Hello everyone, it is Foxy, your drama teacher here. Today I have something very exciting to share with you all. I am getting new headshots taken. And so I thought what I would do is I would bring you along with me and so you can get the full headshot experience. I know I have talked about headshots in other videos, which I'll link above and I'll link down below. I've talked about headshots when you are getting ready for an audition. I said that getting ready for an audition is a lot like getting ready for a headshot session. So you can check out that video if you wanna know how I did my hair and how I did my makeup. I've also talked about headshots with when you're putting together an audition portfolio, the types of headshots that you need to go into that portfolio. And so I'm going to be getting those types of headshots taken today because it's been, it's actually been like four or five years since I've had my last set of headshots taken. And really when you are in earnest in the industry, trying to get jobs on a regular basis, you really need to get new headshots taken every single year. Now it has been a while for me since I was out there auditioning and, and doing the whole circuit. So I haven't really needed to get new headshots taken, but I figured why not? Uh, a good friend of mine is a professional photographer who you'll meet, be meeting in just a little bit, and she has graciously agreed to help me with this video and allow me to videotape my session. So there are a couple things that I'm going to be bringing with me to my headshot session. So first and foremost, I have my hair done. I have my makeup done already. It is not the responsibility of a photographer to know how to do your hair and do your makeup. You can always hire someone to do your hair and makeup professionally if you want to go down that route, if you have the finances to do so. I'm perfectly confident and confident in doing my own hair and makeup, so I had no problem doing that before I got ready. I chose an outfit that is comfortable for me to trans transport myself in to get there in. This is not necessarily what I'm going to be wearing for the headshots, although it is an option that I will give to the photographer. What I'm also bringing with me here on this pile here, I'm bringing my hairbrush because my hair gets naughty and so I want to be able to brush my hair in between sessions. Just like if you've ever seen a movie and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, how is this person's hair perfect the whole time? Labyrinth, 1980s classic, is a great example of this. Sarah, when she's running through the labyrinth, she has this amazing, gorgeous, long, chestnut colored hair and it's always immaculate. And what happens? How does it stay immaculate? In between every single take, somebody comes up to her and they're like, okay, 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 your hair is now brushed again. You're ready for the next take. Okay. And that's how her hair stays perfect. So in between headshots, I want to make sure that my hair stays, you know, looking silky and smooth and, 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 a po and photo appropriate. I am also taking some deodorant with me. I'm taking some more lipstick with me because I don't have a ton on right now. And I just want to be able to, to put something on if the photographer thinks that it might help with the lighting or the, um, whatever it is that we're doing. I also have here, I haven't decided yet. So in my portfolio building video. I mentioned that you need to have three kinds of headshots. You need a theatrical headshot, which is a more serious expression, a commercial headshot, which is a smile, and then a full body shot. Well, I'm on the fence today if I want to do just like a regular like pose, pose for my full body shot, or if I want to try more of a dancer pose, like a high kick or a jump or something like that. So I'm actually taking with me a, a workout outfit that I will show her to see if that is a route that we want to take. The last thing I'm going to be taking with me is a whole series of outfits. I've said before that when you are filming yourself for an audition or when you're getting headshots taken, solid colors are best because why you don't want the casting director or regular director, you do not want them to be distracted by the polka dots on your blouse, by the flowers, by bright colors, by bold patterns. You want them to just focus on your eyes, on your smile, on anything that will endear them to you. So I am taking a whole bunch of options for my photographer to choose from. So I've got, you know, a, a, what is this color? It's like a teal color. I've got purple. I've got black. I've got a dark green, I've got a bright pink, a different teal color, um, a bright blue, a navy blue, and then this is actually another exercise outfit. I could wear any of these outfits and it wouldn't matter whatsoever, but depending on the photographer's background, depending on the lighting she chooses, depending on all other types of factors, we'll determine which of these outfits she thinks will look best in, in this in this picture. And honestly, I'm not a photographer, I'm not the expert, so I'm gonna trust her judgment in this situation. I also, in addition to having a variety of colors, these all have a different set of necklines. Like this is a, a wide neck or a boat neck or a ballet neck. 
this neckline has so many different names for it, but uh, this kind of neckline, I have a bunch of V-necks, which obviously is kind of what I lean toward, but I also have um, a round neck with a high cut, and I have this, which is more of like a rushed, rushed. I don't know that I've ever known how to pronounce that word. It's R. I'm gonna stop talking. It has this, you know, elastic neckline. This one is more of a plunging or a deep V-neck, and then this one still has the tag on it because I've never worn it. COVID. And so this one has like more ruffled sleeves to it. This one's short sleeve. This one's sleeveless. This one has cap sleeves. These are all long sleeved. So I hope that she will be satisfied with my choices. I will not wear all of these. I will wear maybe two of them and we'll do a series of photos in, in one or two different of different colors of these. All right. So that's all I have for now. Come along with me and we're going to go ahead and go to Irina's house. So hi everybody, uh, welcome back. This is Arena. She is doing my uh, headshot today. We're in her fabulous home, and so this is the outfit that she has picked out for me to wear based on my eye color and my neckline. And now Arena does more than just headshots. She does wedding pictures and family photos and other things. So I will include a link down below to her website. Check her out. She's right in the DC area. So if you're looking for someone, a professional photographer, I highly recommend her. <laughs> all right, awesome. So we're going to start with some testing. Okay. All right. So first off, I am going to try to figure out what the light we want for your portraits. So normally, I start everybody with the left. Um, so meaning you're also going to turn your body towards? Yes. All right, so normally, like when you're doing any kind of hat shots, we don't want that to be facing the camera, right? So you always want to turn away and then turn your face towards me. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So that kind of just makes your shoulders not as dominant as your, you know, features. Because we all know I have a problem with broad shoulders. Well, <laughs> anybody would. <laughs> when I, have like a, I have like a weird thing. It's like I'll put on something and if the shoulders make me look too broad, I'm like, no, my shoulders are too broad. <laughs> And again, you guys, if you want to get headshots, you need to go with a professional photographer. Do not try to take them yourself. Don't take selfies of yourself and, and pass them off as professional headshots because the casting director will know the difference. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless, unless you want to be in a backstage somewhere. You know? <laughs> That's a goal. Alright, 
let's try, turn your body a little bit more towards the window, yes. Yeah. So this is beautiful. I'm going to show you a couple. And I'm going to try to move light on the other side. <laughs> that's good. Um, I'm going to try to move the light on the other side and see how that works. Like I said, I always start on the left because the majority of people, left side is their good side. Mm -hmm. But it's good to have options. Am I going to swing this way now? Yes. Slightly different option. Yeah. Alright. Good. Hold the shoulders back. Yes. 
Yeah, I know. It's honestly <laughs> when you're sitting, isn't it? She's getting the laptop ready. When a casting director asks for headshots, they may ask for snapshots. And so you're thinking to yourself, well, why bother spend a whole bunch of money to get professional headshots if they're just going to ask me for snapshots? Well, what the casting director wants by the snapshots is they want to know that your look is still the same because your headshots, they know they're only going to spend a lot of money to get professional headshots once a year. So they want to make sure that your snapshots still match your headshot. That is literally the only reason why they ask for snapshots, to make sure that your hair is still the same color, still the same length, and still the same style, or whatever it is. So, professional headshots are worth it. So, obviously there's going to be some, <laughs> you know, not so <laughs> I look crazy in that picture. <laughs> well, that's what I said about the deer and the helmet, yeah. right, right? So we all have that, and the easy solution is just a little bit of a smile, yeah. right? And then it's all good. Oh, that's a nice shot of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go through all of them once to kind of just have an idea of everything that we have. Like, yeah, I definitely like the black one better. I just like how it frames your face. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, these two are my favorites. No, so far. Yeah. That, that one. <laughs> Okay, so this is all we have, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Ah. Yeah, let's go in the opposite direction and basically call out any ones that you do like. Okay. It, or even if it's a maybe. Sure, okay. sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, me. I don't like the, yeah, I don't care for the smiling ones. Okay. Just looking. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one's okay. Not so much. Uh -uh. That one's okay. That was my favorite. No. <laughs> I know, I know, right? <laughs> my eyes are closed. <laughs> yeah, that one's okay. That's the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much the same thing. Oh, I see. Sorry, I really like the black so much better. I know, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can just describe it. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's look at the black and then we can figure out which ones, what are we missing and what we need to work on. Okay. And you know, I'll tell you guys, I almost didn't bring the black because I was like, well, it's black against a neutral surface, it might not be a good thing. But I was like, but I'm not going to make the decision, I'm going to let the extra make the decision. And who knew? The black was great. It's great, yes. Okay. okay, so the question is, do you think we have enough looks in those to select the three photos you want? Or is there anything else that you don't see here? I don't love the smiling ones. Okay, so we want to work more on the smiling mm -hmm, ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Let's do it. All right. I think the closed mouth ones are good. Okay. Alright, so. Girl, I'm full so. oh. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I just like. Hmm. I couldn't even tell. Shoulders. Okay. Yes, shoulders down on the back. Hold that. You can also, like, you know, before every shoot, you can just. <laughs> My hair is still okay. Yes, okay, actually. You fix it just a little bit. Okay. 
but that might actually be the reason why you don't like the smile. Yes, yeah, you, know, yeah. you try to and not show the gun. Right, right. Hold on. Hair. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little touchy feely, so no, I because I hate it when I've got a strand out of place or yes. something, and I'm like, I just wish they would have just moved this. Yes. Way and or... again, I also don't like it, and so I don't like doing it with Photoshop afterwards, mm -hmm. which I do. <laughs> but I rather I like my life to be easy, so perfect. All right. So now we're getting ready for the full body portion of our headshot session. We went through the serious shots and the smiling ones, and we've picked some really great ones that I'm super excited about. And so now Arena is just getting set up for the second part. because they, she'll, she'll you know, cut out this, this pimple that I have on my face and she will trim the background and she'll make me look even better than I am in person. Which is, again, something that you also can't do if you're just taking a selfie of yourself. You want a professional to do the editing because that is also a part of the whole package too. Um, and the other thing about selfies is that it's hard to get the right angle where it actually shows your face as is. Um, you know, we all have like certain ways that we take selfies, you know, and it's a specific angle that might not really be exactly what the way you look, the filter might change the way you look, you know, might, your eyes might look different, your skin might look different, uh, things like that. So when I edit my photos, Yes, I definitely get rid of all the pimples and stuff because it's not it's something perfect. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not <laughs> enough, right? Um, so, but I make sure that in my editing, it is definitely you in the photo, and it's recognizable. And anybody who looks at you knows that you look gorgeous, <laughs> but also knows how you look like, mm -hmm. right? And what age you are, and what color your hair is, and the right color, right? Right. right. So not just like whatever the filter gives you. Because if you look at different audition and you don't look the same as your headshot, they will not be pleased with that at all. And you guys should have seen her over here. She was up on a stool, she was down on the floor, she was at so many different heights oh to capture the best angle of me, which you cannot do if you take these pictures yourself. So thank you again so much. I am thank delighted you. with this, so I'm really excited. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.